Alrighty, hello to my Year 11 Physics class. Uh, this is Mr. Govan broadcasting live. Well, actually, we're not live. I'll be recording this, so scratch that. Uh, this is Mr. Govan uh, teaching his Year 11 Physics class from the uh, science lab alone. It's uh, very lonely in here, so hope you guys are having a good time. I am going to... Uh, our lesson today is on some of the questions from the dot point. So I'm going to solve a couple of these on video for you guys. So hopefully if you had questions about these particular answers, uh, you'll now have them answered. Let's get started. So I'm looking at page 80 of my dot point book. Actually, I think it might be Billy's dot point book. Yes, it is. So Billy, if you want your dot point book, you better come get it. Um, I'm looking at page 80 of Billy's dot point book and I'm looking at question 2.5.2.7. So the question says, Ooh, after accelerating for four seconds at 2.5 meters per second, squared, a 500 kilogram car moves at 50 meters per second east. So first thing we need to do for any physics question is draw a diagram. Uh, I'm going to draw a little car like this here. And this car is going to be moving at 50 meters per second east after it has accelerated for four seconds. So we're looking at a car that now has a final velocity of 50 meters per second east. Second thing we do for any physics question is we need to write a little summary of what variables we already have. So from the question, we can see that we have a time variable. So we're going to write t equals four seconds on this right hand side. We don't know if we're going to use any of these variables yet. We're just doing a summary of what we already have. So we have an acceleration. A equals 2.5 meters per second squared. We have a mass. So we're just going to write m equals 500 kilograms, and as we said, we have a final velocity V of 50 meters per second east. Now the question asks, calculate the initial velocity if the acceleration was positive. So that means that we have, we want to calculate U. So if we have a look at the variables that we currently have. We've got T, A, M, V, and U. Now, if we go to our kinematic equations, uh, I don't have them shown here, but you guys should have those recorded in your book somewhere. If we look at our kinematic equations, we need to find one that contains U, because that's the variable we want to find, and that also contains all of the other variables that we have numbers for. So the one that I'm going to choose is a equals V minus U over T. This is one of our kinematic equations. And we can see that we have already A, V, and T over on our right-hand side, and we want to find U. So this is the perfect equation to use to find those, to find U. All right, so now I'm going to sub in my variables. We're putting 2.5 for A because the question asks us if the acceleration was positive. So we're leaving this as a positive number for now. Sub in 54 V and four seconds for our time. All right, now that we have uh, all of our numbers subbed in, it's just simply rearranging the equation. We'll put the four over to the other side, multiplying by four. So we get 10 equals 50 minus u, and then we're going to put the 50 over to the other side, so we're going to minus 50, so we'll end up with minus 40 
equals minus u, and we'll times both sides by negative 1, so we'll get u equals 40. And remembering that we need to add, still add in our meters per second as our unit. I've accidentally put a dot in there, but so let's ignore that. Actually, I'll erase it. Oh, very nice. All right, so we found our U for a positive acceleration. And now part B of the question, oh, part B of the question asks us to find U if the acceleration was negative. So I'm going to use the same values once again in the same equation. This time, I'm going to put negative 2.5 meters per second per second for our acceleration. Uh, that's just reminded me, in our first example, we didn't put a direction on our velocity, which is very bad of me. All right. Our initial velocity was going east, and our acceleration was positive, meaning that the acceleration is also going in the east direction, which means we've increased from 40 meters per second to 50 meters per second, and there's been no change of direction. So we can add in here for our u that this was also going east uh, before the acceleration. All right, so now we're subbing in the numbers once again for velocity was 50 minus u over four seconds. And now I'm going to rearrange again. We'll get negative 10 on this side equals 50 minus u. And this time, We'll go up here. We're going to get negative 60 equals negative u. And now 60 equals u. u, the initial velocity, is 60 meters per second still east. And we can see that for our final velocity to end up being 50 meters per second, it makes sense that if we're decelerating, because we're now using a negative acceleration or a deceleration, that we would decelerate from a higher initial velocity down to 50 meters per second. So I think that, that this question has been successfully answered. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. I'm going to somehow work out how to stop this screen recording. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Well, I'll probably cut the video before here, hopefully, but...